Yes, it is draft season, and you know what's coming up next. My own thoughts and opinions on the WWE draft. You know what's coming up next. Roll that damn intro. Alright, so I do have right now my overall thoughts and opinions on the WWE Draft, which concluded last night on SmackDown, and not only that as we speak, well, mainly for me, and um, just having the WWE Battleground 2016 pay-per-view predictions video looking to be up probably as of right now, so go ahead and watch that and then come back and watch this, or however you want to watch it, it's up to you, and giving overall thoughts and opinions on the draft and it really went by really fast I know Smackdown tends to really do that and just like that go quickly with that being two hours and everything so um overall as a whole you know um kind of a little bit mixed reactions on it I would have liked to see the not only just the reactions of the superstars but actually have them be there instead of just having it in the different format that they did like Say, for example, either uh, Mick Foley or Daniel Bryan would pick their picks and everything, and they just show the entrance videos and then the picture of the superstar. And then on the draft center, they would have their reactions then and stuff like that. So it was a really different format than what we we're used to. We had other different formats in the past, uh, especially with 2002 uh, with the podium and stuff like that. We did have that, and then whoever was able to pick between either Mr. McMahon and Ric Flair their choice would come out or we just see the reactions backstage and everything uh, they kind of technically had that for NXT uh, that was the only thing and uh, we didn't get to see any surprise returns that much or anything like that we did see Neville return and have his reactions on where he went and everything so it was a bit uh, different than what I was used to and then what was cool I think they should do that more often uh, go to commercial, still show the match and everything, and then do it that way. Maybe that would be a little bit better, and then go back right to it. So I thought that was a nice touch and everything. Hopefully within time, we'll see a new set. We'll see the colored ropes come back and everything, and just completely change everything else within time, hopefully. Uh, I know it's going to take a while, and then maybe have other championship titles, because... We've seen too, like some of the championship titles go on different brands and everything. So, uh, I will talk about that later on, but I will go over the complete list. And yes, it is a long ass list for each show for Raw and SmackDown. We did get the six NXT call ups, if you will, also on top of that. So, let's get right down into it. Alright, so I'm going to start things off with Mick Foley and Stephanie McMahon for Monday Night Raw. And who did we get? Well, a long list of names. The number one overall pick was other than Seth Rollins. That's fine. Charlotte, my queen, she's able to go to Monday Night Raw and have the Women's Championship now. She's going to be on both brands, have another championship for SmackDown. Don't know how I feel about that, but I feel like the Women's Championship should be on both shows and not have another uh, championship and definitely don't have the Divas Championship comeback, that's for sure. Uh, Finn Balor, which is great, gonna be awesome seeing him and his entrance alone, enough said there. Uh, Roman Reigns, I guess that's fine. Brock Lesnar on Raw, whenever he does show up, I know he's got the part-time deal. So now it's like a SmackDown vs. Raw matchup at SummerSlam between him and Randy Orton and I'll get a little bit more in depth with that later on. The New Day, it's a new day, yes it is, on Raw. They all stick together. Good deal there. And they definitely shouldn't be split up. Uh, Sami Zayn, gonna be on Raw, which is fine with me. Chris Jericho, drink it all in. Yes, he will be on Raw. Sasha Banks, same thing. Uh, Rusev with Lana, that's fine. They get the US Championship. Kevin Owens, so that's right. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn looking to get to use a few, it seems. 
Uh, Enzo and Big Cass together, still as a tag team. Nice, I like that. Glad they didn't split them. And Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Get a little bit into that uh, later on. Uh, we got Big Show and one of the NXT call-ups, Nia Jax. And that's pretty interesting. You know, I'm pretty uh, into her, so that's cool. She's on Raw, Neville, when he returns. And especially with the Cruiserweights being now on Raw, that's going to be freaking awesome. I hope the Cruiserweight title comes back. Uh, we got Cesaro, Sheamus, Golden Truth. I wish they would have split them up, but hey, it is what it is. We got Mr. Titus O'Neil, Paige, Darren Young with Bob Backlund together. Uh, Sin Cara, of course, Sin Cara and Kalisa are now split up. Um, I kind of would have preferred actually both of them on Raw since they got the Cruiserweights on there, so it is what it is. Uh, the Dudley boys still together, so I know we heard rumors that they might split up again. And everything and maybe have a here one for Bubba Ray like we've seen in TNA but we don't have that so they're together. Uh, Summer Ray, Mark Henry, Braun Strowman on his own which is fine with me. Um, don't really care for him that much but hey it is what it is and Bo Dallas putting the thumbs up on his own if you will. Uh, Shining Stars yes they're looking to be able to promote Puerto Rico each and every time on Monday Night Raw so Ole to that. Uh, Alicia Fox, Dana Brooke. I know Jack and I, I'm sure you're probably happy about that. Dana Brooke being on Raw with Charlotte still. Uh, so there you go. And then we got Curtis Axel. So I guess Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel are going to be their own tag team. That remains to be seen. Then we get into the blue brand for SmackDown. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Now the number one pick we had Dean Ambrose. That's right, Dean Ambrose, baby, the WWE Champion. For how long, that remains to be seen. We'll see what happens at Battleground this Sunday. And uh, Dean Ambrose being able to be WWE Champion. And uh, we'll see, hopefully he'll be able to retain. I know we heard rumors we might have another SmackDown Championship be brought to SmackDown. But uh, I guess maybe Raw now will have a different championship. Um, we'll see. Uh, AJ Styles, I like this. He's separate now and everything from the club so uh, him being on his own as a heel is going to be really cool so now that we got Finn Balor and the other half of the club maybe to be the Balor club on Raw so there's that uh, Randy Orton like I said um, basically having a Smackdown versus Raw match with him and Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam so Randy Orton's on Smackdown so it's kind of weird having Randy Orton and John Cena both being on the same show on SmackDown like that so uh, there's that. Uh, we got Bray Wyatt basically on his own. Now hopefully when Luke Harper returns, he'll be able to be on SmackDown too, or maybe be on Raw with Braun Strowman. Not too sure how that's going to go since he didn't really get drafted, neither did Nikki Bella because of their injuries. It's understandable. Um, but uh, we got Becky Lynch, The Miz with Maurice, so the Intercontinental Championship is on SmackDown. Baron Corbin and now we got a tag team from NXT. Yes, American Alpha is going to be dope and badass to see. I love that tag team. So they're on SmackDown. Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Natalia. So continuing her feud with Becky Lynch. Alberto Del Rio. The Usos. Uh, Kane, Kalisto, Naomi. When she returns. I know it's been a while. I'm not too sure what's happening with her. We haven't seen it in quite a bit. Uh, the Ascension. Zack Ryder, Apollo Crews, uh, another NXT call-up in Alexa Bliss. This Alexa Bliss, as I should say, uh, is on SmackDown, so that's cool. Eva Marie, don't really care for her that much at all, so it is whatever. Uh, the Vaud villains, Eric Rowan, so then he's going to be with Bray Wyatt. And like I said, depending on where Luke Harper is going to go when he returns from injury, we'll see. Uh, Mojo really don't really care for him that much. It's kind of too fast for me. A little bit too high, but it is what it is. And now we got also Carmella, who won't be with Enzo and Cass. So I thought that was a little odd there since uh, Carmella is uh, with Big Cass in real life and the relationship and stuff. So uh, also, I did see uh, that the commentary team was able to change too. Uh, now that we have uh, for Raw, we have Mike McCall, Corey Graves, and Byron Saxton. So JBL did get switched. He'll be on SmackDown with Marlon Morano and David Otunga. And that will be going on for that. And the main event, we have Tom Phillips and whoever is going to be uh, 
with him and that would be with uh, Corey Graves and uh, the Superstars would be Otunga and stuff I think something like that yeah so uh, yeah that about does it for that the overall draft results and everything in between for Raw and Smackdown and the NXT call ups and everything else in between what did you like about the draft what you thought should have been done more differently and everything else all of the draft talk leave them down below in the comment box i'd love to hear you guys thoughts and opinions each and every time so i don't hesitate that enough so always please feel free to leave your feedback and i love to interact with you guys each and every time so that about does it for this video the draft video i'm probably going to be on Simon's show doing that so we'll have more talk on the draft everything else in between it's looking to be tonight I'm not too sure what time probably at 7 or whatever so I will try to promote it the best I can as I always do for you guys to check us out and join in the interaction the craziness and everything else that you can possibly think of that goes on between the live hangouts so until then I'll catch you guys then Check out the Battleground predictions, and I'll be back for the next video for the Battleground review. Peace. See you guys.